I really think small business is a good option for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Education is not for everybody. If you took all that money you wasted on those colleges and invested in small business, you might have been a lot better off. Maybe sometimes you're better off investing in your future. Women often sacrifice their career for their job. Your good work doesn't speak for itself. You've got to be your own marketing function. If you market enough, you don't have to sell. If you didn't make the mistake, you wouldn't have learned. I've read more books on Buddhism than I have on business. I need help and it's okay. I have no delusion about my willpower. Once we get over this silly macho, I can do everything on my own. Hey, I can't do everything on my own. <laughs> yeah, I, think, yeah. I think you are the best coach. You know? Hello, my name is Similian Mori. I'm the founder of the Warrior Family podcast, the podcast that wants you to inspire, to have it all in your life, in all areas of your life, to have a successful marriage, a great relationship with your kids, a successful business and time for yourself and for your family. Look great, have a fit body, enough energy to travel and to do the stuff that you enjoy doing. And today I have a guest, a special guest. I read almost all of his books, but not 31 of the books. <laughs> and this one is my favorite, Triggers. And probably you know that I'm talking about Dr. Marshall Goldsmith. He's number one leadership thinker in the world. So welcome, Dr. Marshall, Thank on you my that. Warrior Family podcast. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Yeah, it took some time uh, to organize uh, all of this, and I'm so happy to meet you in Kazakhstan. You said your first time in the Kazakhstan. It is. This is country number 101 for me. 101 country. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a lot of traveling. And uh, like, maybe let's start with this. Let's test your intuition. What do you think that is going to be the first question that I'm going to ask you? <laughs> <laughs> Something about leadership. Something about leadership. Maybe not, but okay, maybe good. you are right. Uh, I want to talk about leadership too, but uh, my, my main mission for this Warrior Family podcast is to give my audience, our audience the advice and tips on how to have it all. Like sure. you, you are working with many top CEOs and entrepreneurs in the world. Right. Uh, and do you think that they really have it all? It's more maybe about the business and how is the, their personal life affecting their professional life? Oh, it depends. Some of them, I'd say, have a fantastic personal life and some of them are disasters, like any other group of people. Uh, if you do a study of, uh, for example, wealth and happiness, mm -hmm. Once you get beyond a middle class level of income, there's not a whole lot of correlation between wealth and happiness, no, which means rich people may be happier, they may be less happy. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, my clients on the whole, on the whole I'd say they have pretty good lives and uh, pretty good family lives. Not all of them, of course, but I'd say above average. I'm sure that when, when they meet you after that, they have good family life, but before, like, uh, I know that we are used to work as an entrepreneurs and CEOs for right. 12, 14 hours a day. Right. And it's not easy to find and create some time and space right. for our kids and family. Right. So I read in your book, Moyo, yes. I read it that uh, one day your daughter, you'd ask your kids. Right. How can I be a better father? How can you be, be a better father? Right. So I have a daughter. She is seven. She's going to be eight now. Good. And son Samuel, she, he's going to be seven years old Good. and I have the whole world in front of me, yes. the whole life. So what advice would you give me to become I, a better father? I would give the same advice that's in the book. Yeah. Ask your kids how you can be better and also measure. Measure how many minutes a day you spend one-on-one -on -one time with each child. Uh, when I started doing that, um, my daughter, I asked my daughter, what can I do to be a better father? Mm -hmm. She said, Daddy, you travel a lot, but that's not what bothers me. What bothers me is the way you act when you come home. You talk on the phone, you watch sports. You don't spend much time with me. And she said, um, one time I had to go to a party at my friend's house, and Mommy didn't let me go. Yep. I had to stay with you, and then you spent no time with me. She said, that's not right. So I started, I was, I'm going to do better. I started measuring how many days I could spend four hours with my family. 1991, 92 days. 1992, 110. 
1993, 131. 1994, 135. I made more money the year I spent 135 than the year I spent 20. Wow. That's January 1, 1995. They're yeah, both teenagers. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. How old they were Kids, then? Kids, look. 135 days with four hours for dad. What goal this year? How about 150? Said, no, <laughs> it no. was too much too already. Much, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Cut back. <laughs> too much. Too much. <laughs> Cut too back, much. daddy. Please. Too much daddy. <laughs> too much of daddy. But what I'm fascinating, uh, fascinated about you is that you have a system uh, for tracking everything. I do, yes. So like, when, you, when you tell to somebody, track how many minutes you spend with your family and kids, right. They usually go like, I'm not going to track that. Why is tracking so important? Well, what we measure, we tend to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we don't measure, we tend not to do. Measurement, what we measure drives away what we don't measure. Mm -hmm. If you measure one thing and don't measure something else, you'll tend to do what gets measured, and you'll tend to not do what not gets measured. And yeah. the people at home are more important than the people at work. You measure everything at work. I like it. People at home are more important than, than people at work. Right. You know that... This, I, I got this many years ago, but I didn't live it. Yeah. It's one thing that you know, but you don't live it. Right. So I got this uh, uh, election maybe six months ago, uh, when it came to me very clearly that I used to say that my business is my family. Yes. I was saying this 20 years, and then in, in one day it changed everything. Like my family is my business not my business is my family right and you said that people at home are more important than people at work it doesn't mean that you don't like and love people at work right but but you spend more time with people at work than with people at home it doesn't matter doesn't matter when you're on your deathbed and you look around none of your coworkers are going to wave goodbye <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a strong one. Mm. It's a strong one. So yeah, people, we, we are in the business. We are used to track everything, numbers. Of course. To to see how successful we are, but it's not common to us to track how much time we spend with our kids and our family. That's right. Yeah. So let let's talk about this change. Okay. Okay. Uh, why it's so hard to change? Like the behavior change is so hard. I own a business for 20 years, I have 150 salespeople, and whenever I want to implement some change, mm. my God, it's a lot of pain. It's very hard. Well, the more successful we become, the more difficult it is to change. Mm -hmm. Any human or any animal will replicate behavior that is followed by positive reinforcement. The more successful we become, the more positive reinforcement we get, and we fall into a trap. Mm. I behave this way. I am successful, therefore I must be successful because I behave this way. Wrong. Mm -hmm. You behave this way, you are successful because you do many things right, and in spite of doing things that make no sense. Mm -hmm. Yet we tend to repeat everything we've done because it's followed by reinforcement. Mm -hmm. The other thing that happens is the world changes. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're doing a great job in the present world. That doesn't mean you're prepared for the new world. Uh, there's somebody wrote a book once called What Got You Here Won't Get You There. Yeah, I, I, I forget who it was. A brilliant book. This uh, one, that, huh? that guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, yeah. That guy, yeah. So what we do, we fall into the trap that we think that what brought us here, the, 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 the habits, the yeah. rituals that we have, that these habits and everything will get us to some another it, next level. Uh, right. And, and basically, you know, what got you here is what got you to where you are. That doesn't mean that's going to get you to the next level. 